Hello everyone and welcome to the Aviation with Elliot channel. We're going to hop straight into this video and today I'm going to be showing you how to save time when setting up your Tolis A220neo on the ground so you have uh, well less time on the ground more time in the air which is uh, what everyone wants. Now this would also work for the Phoenix A320 and I believe the Flyby-Wire A320neo but it will be a different way of setting it up but it's the same principle. So first of all we're going to hop into the cockpit and go down to our MCDU. So normally you would enter all this data manually. So let's say EC31 Uniform Lima was my last flight. You'd enter it, uh, not that, sorry, there. And then you go through all of your routing and as you know that can take a long time. Especially on the longer flights such as Gatwick to Dalaman. So you may have seen for init request basically we're going to bring in our flight plan via data link which is normally done from the dispatcher to the pilot through the aircraft's um, communication systems which doesn't involve the radio this is different to CPDLC in this uh, this would be your departure clearance we'll go through that in another video but this is showing how to actually get your flight plan in and not clearance so the first thing we need to do is hop into the TODIS um, Panel, ICSC, version IC, IC, ISC, <coughs> IC. I can't even say it. Right. Um, we're gonna hop into the panel, and we're gonna go over to our general settings. Correction. No, we're gonna go over to sound and add-on account. Now here you have, this is for your CPU DLC, this is different, but for SimBrief, we're going to enter our pilot's ID. And how do we get that? Well, I'm going to show you, stay tuned. So here once we logged in, we're going to go down to account settings. When you click that, it's going to show your pilot's ID. I'm not going to show all my information, obviously, because uh, then you'll just be using my flight plans. Unless you want to, of course. And then just copy the pilot's ID. And then we're going to come back into the TOLIS. So, if you um, don't have the most updated SimBrief like I do, then you need to update your air racks on both, so uh, for it to work. So make sure everything is um, working properly. And everything's updated, because you probably don't want to have out of date things and just ignore the message. So there you go, just simple as that. And then you can see it's put in all of our routes and of course the correct waypoint as well which reduces human error and time but the only things it won't do is your SIDs and your STARS obviously because you're going to be that that's going to be issued by your air traffic controller or if not you can enter it so mine's a frame 1 might departure 26 left perfect and the star is red for 1 alpha 427 oh let's do 7 Red for one alpha, and after that, uh, you can also go check that all of your if you uh, enabled the set payloads, payloads, and fueled sim brief, then all of this can be done for you as well. Make sure you um, uplink in the MCDU before you check this page. But I can see the passenger count is 131, and it's 131 here, same in the OFP. So, if fuel weights estimated. 58006 zero, zero, and it's 58006 zero, zero, here. I'm just going to make sure I apply these. I don't think it, I'm not sure if it makes a difference. And there you go. Then you need to fill in your takeoff data, and I believe your init B, yeah, fuel prediction is also filled in for you, which is perfect. Performance data uplink. There you go. So you need to fill in your takeoff page, but I hope this video helped and saved you some time in the future. I do sometimes enjoy to uh, manually enter it. I'm not a real world pilot and this is all for simulation purposes only. If I've done anything wrong, please do let me know, as I am not perfect. Thank you all for watching, take care.